you ought to check this out. Someone out here, you know, was talking about how they were going to kind of change up their YouTube ministry and uh, was coming to, coming down to earth talking to people, you know, coming uh, so people could witness how this person was, you know. And, and, I, and I absolutely and, and ha am happy of witnessing somebody say this stuff. Because even even uh, Brenda Weltner made a video yesterday talking about how it is not all about the rapture. And I know it's not all about the rapture. But I made a long comment on this person's page just a minute ago. And as soon as I got done commenting, I looked over and I'm at mile marker 333. I am telling you this right now. Paul was no longer a child of wrath because he crucified the flesh and he denied self, died to self, excuse me. Basically, dying to self and denying self is something a person has to do to be a Christian. You have to put away the ways of your past. Just like I have to. Just like I have got to get back on track. But it isn't that easy. That's where the surrendering and submitting. But that's not easy. I mean, I, I, it, that's where you be humble. That's not easy. You know, I, all I know is that when Christ comes into someone's life again, there is a change. And if all that change is at the end of the day is someone saying they're a Christian, but there ain't been no change in a person's life, then that person cannot be born again, cannot be led by the Holy Spirit. So don't you see the reason why I could not tell you that it is okay to sin like a lot of Christians out here do? Because at the end of the day, I would be lying to you, and I'm not lying to you. No one out here can remain in that life and God accept them. Even Brenda Weltner, when she made that video yesterday, see, she doesn't, evidently, she doesn't like me because I because I do act harsh out here. I'm sorry that if I act harsh, I, I mean, I got my own issues, but <laughs> but she said God never changed. Huh. How can everybody out here profess that God never changes? That God's nature is against the ways of this world and against sin. That if you're conformed to the ways of this world, sin, that you're an enemy of God. I know it says enmity, but you'll find out it has something to do with God is not with people out here that are in sin. I'm telling you. You, you not know that I know for a fact that I have grieved the Holy Spirit. There is no way. There is no way that God would make me a watchman. And that's totally irrelevant. That is totally irrelevant. There is no way that God would want me to be just like the world no more than you. People ought to be grateful that the rapture didn't happen. People ought to be absolutely grateful that the rapture did not happen. 
because the majority of Christians would have never made it. Would have never made it. Again, people can get mad. I don't care what you have been brought up to believe. That's why I was never going to give my life to Christ. And sit here and be in sin. Because I knew I would have been wrong. And I know that there are a lot, a lot of people out here that absolutely do not speak for God. God would have never, ever wanted anyone out here to be deceived. And since the majority of Christians are deceived because of the people they've been listening to, like I said, I have been able to, you can get mad at me for saying this. I can literally listen to people out here and see their ear tickling message. I can listen and see their ear tickling message. The blessed hope, to say the blessed hope, that you're waiting for the coming of the, of the blessed hope does not make a person a Christian. And I want, this is what people need to do right now. You need to make up your decision right now, just like I have to, that if you were to get tempted to do something that you know you shouldn't do, even if you believe in what's saved, do you think you should do it if you did? I mean, I was just in Michigan. Right now I'm in Indiana. I was just in Michigan. Michigan. Just yesterday, I saw a sign, an advertisement for recreational marijuana. I've even witnessed a person on a, uh, one time I went to a, I Googled recreational marijuana places because I was thinking about stopping and getting some when I was in Illinois. I'm not joking with the days that I have out here. I mean, I cannot believe I have not said, God, I'm through. I'm smoking weed. I don't care whether you like it or not. And I went to one, a website, I mean, on the internet, I Googled it and it had a review and I saw where there was a Christian that commented on a recreational marijuana site. I mean, on a marijuana, you Google it and it has your reviews. So you think that there aren't people out here that are saved that are literally going every week and buying marijuana and smoking marijuana every day thinking they're saved? How about this? How about you think that there aren't Christians out here that think they're saved that are not going out and drinking maybe every day, maybe once a week? And just because you can drink a beer doesn't mean that God wants you to drink a beer. Just because you could drink, take maybe take two or three shots and maybe never get drunk doesn't mean that God wants you to take two or three shots. And just because there's wine available doesn't mean that God wants people to drink wine either. Especially when we had habits of one time or another with this stuff.
I would love to sit here and think that if someone could fight the temptation and smoke a couple of tokes from a joint that they would be fine. But I don't think anybody can get, I don't think people can fight the temptation. That's why God tells us not to hang around with sinners, not to eat with sinners, not to be around sinners because you're trying to overcome the ways of this world, the ways of Satan. And as long as you put yourself out there like that, you're going to have lust in the heart. You're going to you're going to be a fornicator. You're going to want to commit sexual immoral acts. You're going to have bad thoughts because you will. Just like I, I've already said this before, and I've witnessed somebody else say this: you're opening up doors to demons. Come on in, Satan. It's exactly what people have done by being out here doing things that they're not supposed to be doing. And if you fall, you really can't blame Satan at the end of the day. I'm going to tell you that right now. If you give in and do something you're not supposed to do, and it ends up leading you to the... To, to the lake of fire. You can't blame Satan at the end of the day. Now I understand. I don't sound like a Christian. The stuff that I've said in this video. I don't sound like a Christian. But I do know the truth. I do know the truth. And I'm still going to try to go the rest of my life without ever smoking any weed. I don't have a drinking problem. The other day, I was really tempted to buy a beer. Drink a beer or two. I was really tempted. And I kept on walking. Thank goodness I wasn't that close to marijuana. But I don't need to hang around with some, someone out here to sin, do I? All right, well, I got a truck stop coming up here in just a second. But I need to stop and get something from a fax that I had delivered there. So I guess I'll end it there.